Hey everyone, and welcome back to Bleach Brave Souls. So today guys, we're not going to be doing any gameplay or news. What we're going to be doing is addressing a post on the Bleach Brave Souls Reddit that I felt warranted a response. And this post was made about two weeks ago, but it was only brought to my attention recently, so uh, I apologize for a late response. Uh, normally I would just type a response, but since YouTube is my medium, uh, I felt it was more appropriate for me to make a video about it. And I definitely think it warranted a video. So. The title of the uh, thread that we're going to look at is called Credit Where Credit is Due. How will we move forward regarding FYI? Uh, this was submitted by Little EMP, uh, who I don't really know. I have never interacted with this person, but apparently he does uh, rep represent the Brave Souls FYI community and the Reddit community. So let's get started. I'll read the post and uh, as we go through it, I'll uh, give you my responses and my thoughts on it. All right. So. Hello to all. Many of you know me, and for those who don't, I usually represent the Discord BBS moderation staff, while other times I simply try to be a good friend to those who deserve it. Sadly, this time is more of the latter than the former. Late last year, we reached a tipping point where people were essentially ripping content straight from Captain MC's BraveSouls.FYI without crediting their sources in any way, shape, or form. All right, guys, so I gotta stop right here because I have to disagree with this, at least for myself. Um, I've never not credited the FYI uh, when I've used their information, which is, to be honest, not that often. Um, I use their information when new gotchas come out, and uh, I try to make sure that I always say, I got this information from Brave Souls at FYI. So while Little EMP is not referring to anyone specifically in this first uh, paragraph, um, I would have to disagree. I do credit FYI as much as possible whenever I use their info. Uh, like I said, I only use the info for their uh, for new gotchas and uh, new information. Um, I never try to present it as my own because, I mean, obviously it's not my own. And if I do show the website on my video, uh, you know, I feel like it's kind of obvious that I'm looking at the FYI because it says so in the address bar. Like, I mean, you know, it's, I, I don't think, I don't think I'm trying to hide the fact that I'm looking at bracels.fyi. So I find that kind of, uh, you know, kind of not a very valid complaint, at least in my case. Um, in fact, there have been several times when I've said, go to the FYI, go check it out on the FYI. And, um, you know, I could point out those videos, uh, and perhaps I will if, that become, if I feel that's necessary. Um, anyway, let's continue. This directly impacts the creator of this website because he pays out of pocket most of the time for the server and invests his time in a cycle of continuous improvement of said website for the benefit of this community. I'll be the first to say that he's one of the nicest guys you can talk to. And this is exactly his problem. We, as a community, have allowed certain members of it to take advantage of his work to not only profit from it themselves, but also taking revenue from Cap's pocket by taking visitors from his website who would otherwise count towards his ad revenue. All right, I'll have to take issue with that as well. Uh, at least for myself uh, and for some of the other guys as well on YouTube, because I talk to them all. And collectively, we send people to FYI. I know this for a fact. Um, you know, anytime I get a question, in my comments, I'll say, go check out FYI. Anytime I use content from FYI, I'll say, this content comes from FYI, go check out FYI. So I don't think we're really taking any views away from FYI. FYI. I feel it's quite the opposite, to be honest. Uh, we send people to FYI. So, um, you know, I, I will take offense to that. And uh, I feel like you're not looking at it properly. Um, anyway, let's go on. I am tired of watching this happen, which is why we had a bit of an argument in this sub almost a month ago. Regarding this very subject that I hoped would create the desired effect of simply crediting his website for any and all info taken from it. All right, fair enough. Um, I don't think this has not been done. I mean, maybe there are some YouTubers that do do that. I can probably think of a few, but um, I will not allow myself to be lumped in with those people because I credit the FYI, like I said, and I will continue to say, I credit all my sources. I credit Reddit, which I rarely ever use. I rarely come on Reddit, guys, because I don't particularly like the community on Reddit. Um, I'm you know, sorry, but I don't. I feel like they're pretty cancerous. I mean, they're pretty antagonistic. They're not very, uh, very uh, welcoming to people that come into their community. Uh, you know, it's just, it's just not a place I like to read or post. So, um, you know, that's on them. I don't care about that. I do respect a lot Captain MZ and uh, what he does for the community, but I feel like uh, the Reddit is just not a place I like to go. So um, let's continue on. I am done allowing this to happen. So this stops now. Moving forward, there will be several changes implemented in the, in the ways that updates will be rolled out to the Brave Souls FYI and how content is delivered. Changes that you can look forward to are the following. All right, before I read the changes, um, I find it a little bit odd that 
this guy is posting. I feel like it might not be his place to do so. I mean, I don't know what his relationship to Captain MZ is. And quite frankly, it doesn't really matter to me. Uh, I would give this post a lot more credibility if it was Captain MZ himself who posted it. But um, this guy, apparently he's just a moderator in the Discord for Brave Souls. Let me see. Uh, Discord, represent the Discord BBS moderation staff. Um, uh, other than that, I, I'm not sure what his actual role within the website is. Like, does he data mine the game himself? Does he like do some server side work? Uh, I don't know. And like I said, he speaks of this website as if it's his website and it's not, it's Captain MZ's website. So, um, you know, I, maybe I might be mistaken as to his role, but uh, that's the way I see it. I don't come on Reddit a lot, like I said. And pretty much the only person that I would really give uh, credence to their, their post is Captain MZ himself. But I will continue to read this uh, regardless. So changes that you can look forward to are the following. One, exclusive YouTube partnership. We will, we will be looking for YouTube partners for our BraveSouls.FYI YouTube channel, whom will be closely involved in the FYI update process as insiders while the updates are being prepared to be uploaded. Updates to the database will not be delayed for anyone's benefit. Any content produced will be embedded on BraveSouls.FYI in a new section, shared on the Discord channel and Reddit and will be released simultaneously or as close as it can be done with the database updates and blog updates. All right, so um, apparently they want more control over their content. They want, uh, they want to have their own YouTube channel, and that's fine. Uh, I totally agree. I think they should do that. Number two, BraveSouls.FYI YouTube channel. It should include news videos, gameplay tests, podcasts, etc. This will be done with the collaboration of any chosen YouTube partners and or guest hosts. All right. Three, watermarks. Yep, this is happening and no getting around it. I did say that this would be happening if things didn't change. All right, so uh, I, I take no issue with these. These are all very legitimate uh, le legitimate changes and um, things that they're uh, initiating. So I, I, I'll support it. If they make a presence on YouTube, I will support it. Because, guys, this is one community. And uh, for, for us you know, on YouTube to be at odds with Brave Souls that FYI, I think is a little bit ridiculous. We should be um, working together to promote the game. And um, I mean, if everyone would just credit their sources, uh, we wouldn't have a problem. Like I said, I do credit my sources as often as necessary. Reddit, Brave Souls FYI, KLab Livestream, Facebook. I mean, I'm not even part of the Brave Souls Facebook community, so I don't know anything about that. I barely come on Reddit, so there's very few videos where I've used information from Reddit. Brave Souls FYI, I have used information from there, but it's statistics from characters. And I feel like that's not information that even Brave Souls FYI owns. Um, that is information from the game. I mean, as much as I support FYI, they don't own the statistics. They don't own the news. So, um, I mean, that being said, I do credit them when I use their site. So let's continue, guys. It is my hope that in the future, everyone can learn to appreciate that this stuff takes a lot of work of someone else's personal time and we can grow stronger as a community. All right. And, you know, no one appreciates that more than me. Uh, every time I make a video, it is quite an investment of time and effort. You guys may not see it, but it does take a while to record the videos. It takes a while to gather the information from FYI, apparently. Uh, it does take time to edit the videos and upload them and render them and all that. So, you know, guys, I mean, you're not the only ones that put in work into your content. Uh, I can speak for, well, almost everyone on YouTube that we take a lot of time in creating our content. There is some that don't, that put out stuff like just willy nilly. And I feel like that does reflect badly on the YouTube community when people have inaccuracies in their videos or they put out incomplete information or they don't cite their sources. So for the people that do do that, I will agree with you guys, but I feel it necessary to defend my channel because I don't do that. I don't, flat out. I go to great lengths to make sure that the information I put out is accurate and properly cited. So um, once again, I feel like I'm repeating myself, but I feel it's necessary. All right guys, so that's the end of the post. Um, I hope uh, this makes clear my feelings on the subject. Uh, I'm not at odds with FYI or Reddit. Uh, I don't particularly care for Reddit, but I'm not at odds with them. That's their community. They can do what they please. I have always put the community, the Brave Souls and the Bleach community, way before anything on my channel or for YouTube. I don't make any money off YouTube. You seem to think I do. A lot of people seem to think that the Brave Souls YouTubers make a lot of money. We don't. Like, I don't make anything. So um, if you're going to argue that, uh, you should check your facts first. I make Brave Souls videos because I love Bleach. And if you look at some of my older content, I used to do Bleach manga reviews. And even before that, guys, uh, I was very active on the Bleach Asylum forums to talk about the chapters and the Bleach Exile forums to talk about the chapters. And this goes back to you know, maybe 2006, 2007. So um, 
For people that argue that I'm just doing this to get views or monies, it's just ludicrous. I love Bleach, I love the game. Um, I've always put that first before subscribers and views. I've gone through great lengths to make uh, the community tighter. Uh, I always respond to all my comments. I run a Discord, which is fairly large. Uh, you know, I'm not sure if it's as large as the Brave Souls Reddit Discord, but it's not small. And I go through great lengths to be accessible to everyone as well. Like, if you want to talk to me, feel free to put a comment in my comment section. I read every single comment. Feel free to come into my Discord, uh, just DM me or come into voice chat with me. Um, I don't think anyone can argue that I'm not accessible and that I'm in this for the money because it's just not true. And uh, I will take offense to anyone who makes that claim otherwise. I've done quite a lot for this community, so uh, it does insult me when people say that I'm in it for the money. But like I said, I do respect the work that Captain MZ and his mods do. Uh, people are free to say what they want. Uh, they're free to make themselves look like idiots if they want and say inaccurate things. But at the end of the day, they don't know the truth. So if you want to know the truth, just come to me and ask me. Uh, come to me in my Discord, come to me in my comments. You can DM me in several different uh, media. I have a Twitter. And if you have an issue with my content or uh, my not citing anything, uh, feel free to contact me directly and uh, we can work it out like adults because uh, I don't want there to be a schism in the community between Reddit and FYI and YouTube and uh, any of the other communities, Facebook, whatever. Um, Google Plus even has a community, which uh, I haven't checked out yet, but I should. I feel like some of these comments and replies need responses as well, and I'm just going to go through a couple of them. All right, so this one here, Rafa00. You are the real MVP. Every time I see a YouTuber posting a news video, I cringe as fuck. Uh, I totally agree with Little EMP. This milking has to stop. You deserve all the best for keeping us updated with the latest news. Um, all right, Rafa, well, you're free to have that opinion of our news videos, but um, I feel my news videos are very accurate and uh, they don't have any misinformation and I don't steal all my information without citing it. So um, for you to make that comment, I mean, it's your opinion, but I disagree with you. And uh, I disagree with milking Brave Souls for their information, Brave Souls at FYI for their information. Uh, to be honest, the majority of information I get for the game comes from the game itself. Um, I, there's not really a need for me to go to FYI if I have a specific character and I need to look at their stats. Um, it, it just isn't efficient. So I feel like that's just an attack on the YouTube community from someone who doesn't like us, but I mean, you know, feel free. All right, so let's move on to another great comment from the G Grimoire. Honestly, I'm all for this. I'm sick of seeing shit tier YouTubers basically steal content from MZ. I'm also in a Brave Souls Facebook group, which I like to troll in occasionally. So right there, if you say you like to troll in something, uh, you really don't have much credibility, and you know I should just stop reading your post right now. Uh, but I will continue on just to humor you. Uh, they hour take screenshots and copy paste stuff from the FYI, and great, give no credit at, at all, then pretend like they found it. Um, I don't think anyone does that. I would challenge you to provide a specific link where this happens, and um, if it does happen, it's not going to be from my site because I, I do credit, and um, you know I can't speak for everyone. I haven't watched everyone's every single video from every single YouTuber. But I don't like the fact that you're generalizing, and uh, I feel like it's unfair. So uh, it's truly infuriating because Captain is a really cool dude. If these changes will help, then I'm totally fine with them. So uh, Grimoire, since you're such a big supporter of Captain MZ, uh, I'd like to see how much money you've donated to their uh, to their donation box. Um, I'm willing to bet it's zero. So for you to talk shit without truly supporting the site, and you flat out admit that you're a troll as well, um, you don't have a leg to stand on, man, really. Um, you know, you're just another person who's cancer in these groups, uh, yeah, and which you freely admit, and I will give you credit for that. All right, so here's a response by Captain MZ himself, which I was, which I was hoping would be here. Uh, let's go ahead and read it. I haven't read it yet, so let's see what he says. Uh, Captain MZ says, It's not even plagiarism, really. I am not claiming to own the content, as I don't. Thank you. I mean, the stats, I mean, Captain MZ gets it from the game, but he doesn't own the content. Uh, he's just presenting it, which is what everyone is doing. Uh, YouTube, Reddit, FYI, any other source, Facebook, they're just taking the in-game information and presenting it. We don't own the content. So um, thank you, Captain MZ, for clearing that up. Uh, I'm glad that you did it as well, though we do need to credit your website more often and uh, more explicitly. Uh, Let's continue reading. And it's on multiple social channels, be it Reddit, YouTube, Facebook, gaming forums. I advise people to share to their heart's content, but the moment FYI gets taken out of the equation completely, while using the resources I spend a lot of time on in order to provide them, it becomes a problem. Fair enough, fair enough, I totally agree. Uh, about the watermark, it'll be something small. A copyrights notice to K-Lab and an FY origin statement. Uh, small font somewhere in the corner, 
like you sometimes see in video game recordings. Fair enough. If I use FYI content and that's the way you want to be credited, uh, that is a very small detail that we can we could easily have worked out long ago with a simple conversation. Uh, as for the YouTube channel, it will be a community endeavor. We hope there will be some interest in making quality videos matching the information that is on the FYI. The rest of the video content is still being brainstormed about, but the gameplay videos and podcasts carried by the FYI could be an amusing pastime to some. Note that the form of compensation and or self-advertising is still being debated. All right, so the rest of it is kind of not that relevant to the, uh, to the, the topic we're talking about. But um, as you see, uh, Captain MZ seems like a very reasonable guy. I, I, I regret not having been able to talk to him up to this point, but it's good that this is coming out in the open. All right, guys, so as I scroll through this, uh, this thread, it seems like there are a lot of people who presume to speak for Captain MZ. Um, you know, I don't really give their comments much weight, so I just skip over them. But I'm uh, going to address one more that's directed towards the YouTube community uh, by Cole Static. So let's read what Cole Static needs to say. The popular YouTubers are cancer of this community. I'm talking about Cowboy, Rawad, TXB, Nerd Era, and other nuggets. All right, let me just stop you right there. The YouTube community has done more to promote this game than you have ever done to do anything positive for this community. I will guarantee that. We've done so much to market the game, to get people playing it, to get people excited about it, to explain things that new people might not know, that old people might not know. We've done a lot to bring our communities together as a whole. I, for one, started a Discord a long time ago that was open to everyone. So the fact that you call us the cancer of this community is quite insulting. Um, but I will continue to read your cancerous post uh, just so I can debunk it right away. So they 24-7 steal content or info from Reddit FYI and then present it as their own. Um, also not true. And the worst part, that they spread often false info about characters. Link me a video where I've spread false information about characters. You're, are, are you just an idiot or are you just like trolling? Um, I, I, I'd like to think you're trolling, but I feel like you might actually be stupid. I mean, if we spread false information about characters, information that we got from Reddit slash FYI, I mean, doesn't that mean that Reddit FYI is spreading false information? <laughs> I mean, call me crazy, but that's kind of the logic you're using. Um, and after that, we have shitloads of retards coming in here and spreading misinformation. Oh, that's great. Uh, I'm glad how you refer to the community as shitloads of retards. I, made, I even made a huge thread about it a month ago. I'm sure you did. I'm sure you did call it static. Uh, it's, probably, it's probably just as cancer as this one. All right, so let's continue. To every, to every fan. Okay, first of all, second of all, learn a proper grammar if you're going to make a, a rant about YouTube. Uh, to every fan out there that will start brainlessly defending them. Remember, those guys don't give two fucks about the game, community, and you. They want partnership with YouTube and those free money. You're a fucking idiot, dude. You're a fucking idiot. And the fact that I'm even addressing your comment makes me fucking ill. I do give two fucks about the game. And I do give two fucks about the community. I am passionate about this game. I'm passionate about Bleach. And for you to say shit like this is fucking insulting. That's the problem with this community. That's the problem with Reddit. People like you. You just make assumptions about people that you know nothing about. So I'm 100% supporting the idea. Every time they steal shit, just copyright strike them. You can fuck off, dude. You can't copyright strike me for putting up information that are statistics about the game. Even Captain MZ acknowledges the fact that the information he presents is not his own. He does not own the content. And I will point it out right here on the video. It's not even plagiarism, really. I'm not claiming to own the content, as I don't. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about, dude. So I would recommend that you uh, educate yourself first about the things you write about, because you just look like an idiot. Um, you don't know me. You don't know anyone in the YouTube community. I bet you've never donated a cent to FYI. I bet you've never spent a dime on the game. And you come here and you post cancerous shit to create a schism in the community. So fuck off, dude. Your opinion means nothing to me. You're a piece of shit and you can kiss my ass. Sorry, guys. Um, I, get, I get a little bit offended when I see shit like that because it's very insulting. Um, I've worked very hard to promote the game and promote the community and be a positive force in the community. So when I see shit like that, it makes me, it pisses me the fuck off. All right, so and there's some people that are defending me. Uh, I appreciate that. Um, I do credit my sources. Um, all right, well, that's all I wanted to talk about, guys. Uh, I don't want to go continue reading this cancer thread because it's a bunch of people that don't know what the fuck they're talking about. And uh, I really don't feel the need to uh, take it any further. But guys, if I got a little bit emotional and a little bit angry, um, 
I'm only a human being and uh, things like this do piss me off and I try to keep it in perspective but sometimes I do get triggered by it. Um, anyway, uh, thanks for listening everyone. Uh, I invite anyone from the Brave Souls FYI Reddit community to uh, stop by the Discord. Not the cancer people. If you want to be cancerous in my Discord, my moderators will weed you out quicker than like you can say KYS. And to Captain MZ directly, uh, if there are any issues at all ever with FYI and the YouTube community, feel free to contact us directly in any form you choose. Uh, Discord, uh, the Twitter, uh, comment section, whatever. Um, you know, I don't care. If you have an issue, my door is always open. Um, I have nothing but respect for the content you put out. And um, I'll just leave it at that. So uh, that's my video, guys. Uh, sorry, it went on for a little bit longer than I expected. But I feel like there were some things that needed to be said. So uh, once again, we'll get back to the regular Brave Souls content in the, uh, in the next coming days. I'll be sure to properly cite my sources and try to provide you with as accurate information as possible. All right, thanks for watching once again, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.